In this video, we're going to talk about how to easily move columns and rows in Excel. So let's focus on column B, the column with the last name. In order to move it, you want to select the entire column and then hold down the shift key. Then use your mouse, you can move somewhere, let's say to the right side of this column and notice when you get those four arrows. It might be hard to see it, so hopefully you can see it. Let me uh, zoom in. I'm already at 200%. But once you see those four arrows, left click and then drag. So let's say if we want to move it to the right of column C, that is the address column, and then let go of the mouse and there it is. So it's to the right of the address column but to the left of the city column. Now let's go ahead and undo what we just did. So let's try it again. So press shift and then once you see those four arrows you can drag it. This time let's move it a little bit further to the right of column D, the city column. And so there it is. Or you can move it hold down the shift button all the way to the right of the zip code column. And so that's how you can easily move a column in Excel. Now what about moving two columns at the same time? How can we do that? Let's say if we want to move columns A and B at the same time. So what you need to do is select column A and B together. So once you select them, hold down the shift key and then wait until you see those four arrows and then do exactly what you did before. Simply move it anywhere you want to. So let's move it to the right of the state column and there it is. Both the first name and the last name has been moved to the right of that uh, column. So let's try that again. So just select two columns, press the shift key and then a left click and simply drag it to where you want it to be. So to the right of the zip code column and there it is. So now you know how to move multiple columns in Excel. Now what else can we do with this? So what about moving rows? So moving rows in Excel is very similar to moving columns. So let's select row 6 where we have Rachel Johnson and let's press the shift key and then simply move it to where you want it to be. So notice that Rachel Johnson is now in the third row. So let's say if we want to move James Wilson. Just highlight the row, press shift and then simply drag to where you want it to be. And now James Wilson is in row 11. Now let's say if we want to move two rows at a time. So let's select row 3 and 4, press the shift key, and then left click and drag to where you want it to be. So Rachel Johnson and Karen Gonzalez, they have been moved to rows 7 and 8. And that's basically it for this video. So now you know how to move rows and columns in Excel. As you can see, it's not very difficult. Now sometimes you may want to have the ability to view the top row as you scroll down. Notice that it disappears as I scroll down. And there's something called freeze panes that I think is very useful. So if you go to view and click freeze panes and then freeze the top row, notice that as you scroll down, you could see the top row which is very useful. So you know what the columns, what each column represent as you go down. You could also go to view, freeze panes and select freeze first column. So if you move to the right, you can always see the first name of the individual that you're looking up. And so that's a very useful feature when dealing with large data sets such as what you see here in addition to moving columns and rows. And so that's basically it for this video. Uh, that's all I got. And thanks for watching.